Oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back guys to another video and today we will be taking a look at something called the Remix OS Player. Now we know that Remix Player is an awesome attempt at uh, running Android on the PC uh, or the uh, x86 environment. Of course we have the Android x86 platform but that is just the Android open source project. It's based on the Android open source project so that means you don't get something like a multi uh, window or uh, kind of a feature there now remix os merges the usual desktop uh, environment uh, like the windows uh, desktop environment uh, over the uh, let's say android environment so you'll see in a moment uh, and for many people running remix os is not that easy because they do not have extra hard drives or hard drive space to specially go ahead and install another operating system on that so today i'm going to show you guys how it's done on a normal windows operating system uh, and how you can run it as an application instead of a separate operating system so first of all you know, need to go to the jide website now jide are the, are the guys behind remix os so you need to go to the website and download something called the remix os player now the uh, exe file i link uh, it down in the description you can go ahead and download it from there and first of all what we'll do is once we have downloaded that we'll get a file something like this now we'll of course double click it and uh, run that file it will ask you where do you want to extract it now i'll go and extract it on my d drive so i'll have to do this and select extract and once it will take some time i'll skip to as soon as it is done and once it's done we can continue with the installation all right so it seems that it has uh, completed the extraction i am now at the directory where i installed uh, or extracted the remix player so i'll open that up and this is the application that i need to run so uh, it's very simple it's very straightforward installation as you guys can see and this will start up the application uh, that will end us up running uh, the remix player all right so once you uh, double click that this is what you get now uh, i leave everything to default and then click on start and let's see uh, how long it takes to load it shouldn't take too long and then we'll see what happens okay so it seems we need to install something called intel uh, HAXM so if you won't install it this is what you get so what we'll do uh, go, is go ahead and uh, type intel HAXM now I will link everything down in the description so you don't have to uh, go ahead and do all of that stuff so all right so we have intel hxa uh, hxm installed so i think that would be the only thing that we actually require right now and we can actually go ahead and open up um, remix os uh, once again and that should actually work so let's start the uh, remix os player and wait and hope for the best Alright, so looks like we are good to go. Uh, I do see some activity uh, on the Remix OS Play and there we have it. It has finally uh, shown up. Now we are not seeing anything on the screen. And um, of course, press Ctrl plus Alt. Uh, and it says Remix OS Play is loading. So that's a go. And of course, this was my first experience. So uh, sorry for that uh, HAXM bit. I didn't know that uh, something like this existed and is and would be needed or i would have put it before uh, actually installing the remix os player but whatever now you guys know that if you don't install uh, haxm that particular error, error will come and now you can do it without that so first of all install uh, haxm and then uh, finally go ahead and install uh, the remix os player Okay, so patience is better, but it's fruit is sweet, almost there. So it sounds too much like Windows 10, but at least it's not saying like uh, we haven't touched any of your things. 
that sounds a bit creepy uh, but anyway let's go ahead and look into what all um, all right so this is the extended controls for the emulator itself now they have designed it to look a lot like the material design for um, your Android stuff so I am really hoping that I can go full screen on this one because I like to but um, let's just wait and see uh, how this all goes when once it's on I will get back uh, for you guys to see it all right so um, yes so remix OS uh, started uh, finally after a long time it took its own sweet time to uh, extract everything I guess uh, I think we can take a look at the files that it might have extracted so and it's actually pretty pretty lot um, anyways let's get back uh, select your language and once you click in it kind of captures your mouse so I can select English uh, I can select a usage agreement as yes although the agreement itself doesn't seem to have loaded up there it is the dreadful user agreement now you guys should understand the lot of part of the uh, remix os is actually closed source so their whole ui is kind of closed source they um, uh, work uh, in tandem with android x86 community and the android x86 community provides them with um, a lot of things uh, codes and their android base and all of that and in return jide helps them in whatever help kind of way they need financially uh, i i'm not saying uh, for sure that they are helping them financially don't quote me on that but it sure looks like uh, that they are like um, working together on this android on pc project kind of thing so of course there would be some or the other financial incentive there now I'm uh, sure for a fact that uh, the guy who, crea uh, who created and uh, runs the Android x86 community actually works at uh, Jide right now. So uh, if you want to see that, uh, first of all, we can go ahead on the main page and I think he should be somewhere here. Uh, yeah, so this is the guy. Uh, who uh, runs the android x86 community great guy uh, very dedicated to uh, the android x86 project but anyways get back let's get back to the main operating systems so no app selected uh, uh, it was a kind of a preface where it asked me to select applications i just skipped all of that activate google play now i can actually choose to activate that and i'll actually go ahead and activate google play for that matter so we have this um, tiny screen I would actually like it to be a big um, larger let's see if we can expand that uh, and it seems that we can't only uh, make it kind of smaller in size maybe we can just go about expanding that up to some point so uh, I think it will remain in this kind of um, orientation uh, let's go ahead to setting and ask um, oh, so there's no setting for resolution apparently there should be so if the guys at remix OS are watching add a setting for resolution and full screen mode anyways um, yes so it works pretty smoothly now one of my main complaints with uh, remix os uh, that i have had is that unlike android x86 which performs very fine if you are booting it from a usb 3 hard drive for some reason remix os actually needs a lot of uh, hard drive access and so it doesn't work that well if you are booting it using a pen drive of any sort so uh, that happens now they are advertising it as play um, android games on uh, windows so that is that their usb they want you to play android based games 
uh, on Windows now there are many ways you can actually do that but they are saying no install this and it would be better so uh, I uh, I know for a fact that they have one of my favorite games uh, on their store um, I think I will have to search for it because I cannot see it directly okay so what we can do is go ahead and of course set up a play store account so for some reason maybe it's my internet connection I'm not able to download it uh, download the games directly from um, the play store so what I'll do is go ahead and open up the remix OS's own store kind of a thing and I'll download let's say Survey Surfer because that's the one I see there's available and I can download and play um, apart from that it is kind of slow while running on a virtual machine let me look up uh, uh, my usage on the CPU so of course the CPU could be bottlenecking it but uh, I don't think that's too much of a reason why it's slow uh, the graphics is what I think is the issue right now it's not the GPU emulation is not really a big thing right now it's not it cannot be easily done now on CPU we have something called uh, hardware virtualization so what that does is it lets the virtualized OS speak directly through uh, directly to the uh, CPU the physical CPU and not have that uh, layer of guest OS in between uh, so that increases the uh, effective speed and now in GPU it doesn't work that way so you'll have to uh, on the so on the software level emulate the whole screen and that actually can be quite taxing on the hardware so uh, I'll just take a look on how much uh, usage I'm getting on the GPU so the clock speeds are actually kind of maxed out the fans not running so that means the fans not running so that means the usage itself wouldn't be too much so as you can see it's only like 9 or 10 percent so uh, again uh, graphics would be an issue uh, on an operating system like this because something like Android is very very heavily dependent on graphics uh, that's one of the reasons uh, Android doesn't work too well on the Raspberry Pi uh, or uh, some uh, very slow Intel Atom uh, chipsets because they don't have great onboard graphics. Alright, so for some reason it's taking super super long um, to do this and what I'll do is go ahead and cancel that out. And so anyways, this is how you install uh, Remix OS uh, as an application on uh, your Windows machine. Uh, of course, uh, it's not as great as running the operating system natively. So I, I think you guys, if you just want the taste of the operating system, it's fine to do uh, like this to install Remix OS uh, on your system. But in real life, uh, if you really want to uh, take the uh, use this operating system to its full potential and it's a great operating system to use so if you are into the whole android thing and you use all the android devices everything would be kept in sync it would work perfectly so if you really want to use that uh, go ahead and install it on a separate drive that's what i would say so again kudos to uh, the remix os team for this and uh, like this video if you liked it uh, subscribe and i will see you next time